Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is Sunday prep day. I'm super excited for this week. Uh, on the menu this week for breakfast, I'm doing breakfast burritos. I think those are gonna be about four points each. And then for lunch, I am planning on Big Mac salads. And I think I have this recipe down to three or four points per salad. So super excited about that. Um, shouldn't be too much of a big prep for dinners this week because I think I only have to do I think I've only got to prep two dinners because I'm gonna do a whole chicken one night So there's really no prep to do with that and then maybe having leftovers on Thursday night and then Friday night We're going out. So I think I just have two uh, two dinners to prep and then I will do my lunches so if you want to see how I prep breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack for my husband and I, then stay with me. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Christy, and I am planning us healthy. Started on breakfast so for breakfast I'm doing burrito uh, breakfast burritos so I'm gonna go ahead and get my bacon going and as always I'm gonna go ahead and cook the whole thing and um, the ones that I don't need I think I, I'm only gonna need eight I'm gonna use two slices of bacon in each burrito so um, whatever I have left I just put in the fridge and save it and we have it like if we have a salad or something throughout the week um, then we'll use it for that so I am going to go ahead and get my bacon going. Uh, for those of you who watch my channel regularly, you know how I cook this because I pretty much cook this all the time in here. Uh, I cook it in the air fryer on 400 degrees for um, between 10 and 15 minutes. It depends how, how, how crispy you like it. So I'm gonna want mine pretty crispy for this recipe. So I'm probably gonna leave it in for pretty much the whole 15 minutes. And I don't worry if they overlap in this. I just go ahead and put them all like that. So I'm gonna stick them in the air fryer now. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my eggs cracked. And I'm not gonna put any milk or half, um, half and half in here like I usually do. I'm just gonna go ahead and just use the eggs uh, because this makes a pretty good amount in each burrito. Um, and Deb, I hope you're practicing with your eggs. Deb made a comment to me last week about how impressed she was not only with my egg cracking skills but the fact that I was doing it without looking because anybody that watched last week you saw I had problems with my lighting it seemed really dark and if you look back at the video I was still just cracking away and not looking so Deb really liked that. I actually just learned to crack eggs with one hand by watching Kim at the Prep Whisperer. I was so in awe at her doing it I thought oh my gosh I gotta learn that so I've been doing it and yeah, it's come easy now. So thanks, Kim. All right, so we want eight eggs. I'm gonna put the equivalent of two eggs in each burrito. All right, once we have those stirred up, we're gonna go ahead and get those started on the stove. So I'm gonna bring you over to the stove with me now. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and get, my oil is not spraying out right. There we go. Sometimes these mistos act up and you have to kind of clean them out. So the first thing that I am going to do is I'm gonna cook up my hash browns. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the hash browns back there. I have a cup of hash browns. The great value hash browns and the hash browns you get from Aldi uh, are both two points for one cup. So I have a cup of those going. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get my eggs going in this pan. And for the other pan, I'm gonna go ahead and start on my lunch, get my meat going for the Big Macs, uh, for the Big Mac salad. So for my recipe, I'm actually gonna be doing a serving of six. So I'm going to be using one pound of ground turkey 
and I decided to add a half a pound of the 96% fat-free ground beef. So this is eight ounces of ground beef, the 96%. Um, I figured that way it'll give it just a little bit of fat in it and a little bit more flavor. Sometimes the ground turkey breast can be a little bit bland if you don't season it real good. We're just going to get that cooking too. And then I'm going to go ahead and season it with some onion, garlic, uh, salt and pepper. some garlic powder and some onion powder and then while I'm at it I'm gonna go ahead and season my hash browns with the same seasonings you can use whatever seasonings you prefer and then for my eggs I'm just gonna do salt and pepper Okay, so I'm going to let those cook up for a bit, and then I'll come back to you. Alright, so my bacon is about halfway cooked, so now I'm just going to go ahead and just stir it around, flip it over, and then put it back on for the rest of the time. Alright, so once your eggs are almost done, go ahead and take them off the burner, because you want to have your eggs be a little bit undercooked, so that way when you uh, microwave them, then it won't overcook them. And so now I'm just going to... I've got them off the burner and now I'm going to wait for my hash browns to cook and then I'm just going to go ahead and mix those with the eggs. Okay guys, so once your uh, hash browns are done, however you like them, I'm not going to, usually I like mine crispy, but with, them, with me putting them in the eggs, I'm not going to worry about crisping them up too much. Now you can do two things. If you prefer not to mix them, you can just go ahead and put them into four portions and then just scoop them on the eggs um, once you put your burrito together um, or mix them together. I'm just going to go ahead and mix them together. Shut that burner off. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and stir those up now and then I'm going to let those sit and cool down just a little bit before I put them on the burritos. And in the meantime, I'm going to let my meat finish cooking. Alright, and then the next thing I'm going to do is just add a good amount of garlic. You can add however much you want. We love garlic. You guys know that. So I'm going to add a pretty good amount. And I always add this right at the very end um, because garlic does could burn. So I'm just going to let that sit and simmer for a little bit. And I will meet you guys back at my prep table. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is put my bowl on the scale. I'm going to weigh out the uh, eggs and hash browns so that I know how much to put in each burrito. Okay, and it is about 440 grams, so we're going to put about 110 grams in each burrito. Now I'm going to just go ahead and get some of the grease off the bacon. I don't know if I said the bacon that I use. This is the uh, Appleton Farm Center Cut Bacon from Aldi that is uh, one point for two slices. Alright, so just get the grease off as much as you can. And then we're going to go ahead and get our uh, wraps out. I am using the High Fiber Olay Extreme Wellness Wraps. These are one point per wrap. Alright, so I am just making four wraps. We're just having these two mornings. Uh, one morning this week, we're going to just do yogurt and fruit. 
and uh, two mornings I am doing cereal. Okay. Like I said, we want about 110 grams on each one. These are actually pretty big burritos. Alright, so that is about what we get. And then we're going to go ahead and put two slices of bacon on there. Okay, I'm going to be using Velveeta shreds. And these are two points for a serving, which is a quarter of a cup. I'm just going to use an eighth of a cup on each burrito. So it's going to be one point uh, per burrito. So right now without the cheese, it's three points. And then with the cheese, it's going to be one. So one point worth is 14 grams. So I'm just going to go ahead and add the 14 grams on there. There we go. And then just roll it up burrito style very carefully because like I said, these are pretty big. You could definitely even make these less points if you wanted to make six burritos out of this. Um, it would probably bring them down another point. So like I said, these are pretty big. And then I usually wrap them in cling wrap. And then you can also wrap them in aluminum foil as well. And then just make sure your sides are tucked in real good. And then I usually twist the ends. That way it keeps it all in there good. All right, and then just keep moving on to the next one. So I'll go ahead and finish these. And then we'll move on to the lunch. cottage cheese for one point and some cantaloupe so this whole breakfast will be five points so now I'm gonna put these away and then move on to the Big Mac salads okay so now we are moving on to the Big Mac salads so I have my meat already cooked I did end up adding some Worcestershire sauce um, when it was cooking at the end, I just put in a little bit of little splash in there and I have weighed it out and it is 600 grams. So I'm going to be putting 100 grams in each salad. Um, so off camera, I went ahead and cut up some vegetables. I have just iceberg lettuce that I'm using in the bowls. And then I'm also putting in some angel hair coleslaw just to give it a little bit more crunch. And then I cut up some red onion, some dill pickles, 
And I also cut up some tomatoes. I know there's normally not tomatoes on a Big Mac, but I just cut up a few tomatoes, uh, Roma tomato. And I'm just putting these in a container because sometimes when you put tomatoes in with the lettuce uh, and leave it, if it was just one day, it would be fine, but sometimes it can get a little bit watery, um, you know, if you, the longer you leave it. So I'm gonna put those in containers. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and add some of the coleslaw. And just kind of mix that up. All right, that's a little better. I backed you up so that you could see what I'm doing here. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add some red onion to each of the dishes. And I'm gonna save some of the onion for the sauce. The sauce actually calls for white onion, but I don't have any white onion, so I'm gonna go ahead and use red. And then we're going to add some dill pickle. And finally, we're going to add our meat. Move some of this out of the way. We're going to save that for the sauce. All right, so we're gonna add about 100 grams of meat into each one. Okay, so that is it for the salad. And then we'll just make the sauce. So for the sauce, I'm doing this a little bit different. Whenever I have made Big Mac sauce, back before I did Weight Watchers, I always used um, Miracle Whip. And I don't like Miracle Whip usually. I usually always use mayonnaise for sandwiches and everything. But for the Big Mac sauce, I always used Miracle Whip. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a combination. So for the six, um, six portions, I'm going to be using one half of a cup of light Miracle Whip. And then I'm going to use a quarter of a cup of Hellman's Light Mayonnaise. And then we're going to add in the onion. And it's about, about a two tablespoons I'm using. And then we're gonna add in, um, also for the pickles, I just used um, some whole kosher dills and I just chopped them up real good. Uh, so then we're gonna use, I'm gonna use some sweet relish and some dill relish. So for the sweet relish, I'm just gonna use a half a tablespoon. And then for the dill relish, I'm gonna use one and a half tablespoons. And then the next thing I am going to need is one teaspoon of white vinegar and one teaspoon of regular sugar And then finally, I'm going to use three tablespoons of, I'm using fat-free Catalina. Usually I use the fat-free French, um, the lighter color kind, but I don't have any of that, so I'm using the fat-free Catalina. And we want three tablespoons. And then just go ahead and stir that up. And then just add in a little bit of salt and pepper. And 
And then what you can do from here is just taste it and add things to your liking. Uh, some, you know, everybody has different things that they like for it to taste. Some people like it more with a mayonnaise taste. Some people like it more with a dressing, French dressing taste. And you can also use a fat-free Thousand Island if you don't even want to make the sauce. You can just use a fat-free Thousand Island to, for the sauce. Now what I've done is I've weighed out the whole portion and it comes out to right about 300 grams. So I'm going to put 50 grams in each container. Ooh, we're getting a storm here. Imagine that in Florida. worth of cheese to each one so which is a quarter of a cup so I'm just going to weigh out the cheese so I'm going to put 28 grams in each one So we will add the tomatoes the day that we have it, and then we'll top it with the sauce. So a five point lunch. So I'm going to get these covered up and put away, and then we'll move on to dinners. All right, so it is time to move on to dinners. So if you are new to my channel, uh, for dinners, I prep them a little bit different than I do breakfast and lunch. As you saw with breakfast and lunch, I put everything together. Um, it's pretty much ready to eat, just have to heat it. For dinners, I just portion everything. So I'm not cooking anything. I'm not doing all the chopping and everything. I'm just portioning out every all the ingredients and putting them into marked bags. Um, I just basically put on the bag what it is and how many points per serving it is. So that is all I'm doing for dinners. For this week, I only have to do two because one night I'm going to do a whole chicken in the crock pot. So there's really no prep, um, you know, nothing to do with that. I'm not, so I'm not going to put a whole chicken in a bag. And then um, one night we're probably going to be, I haven't decided yet if we're going to do leftovers from chicken um, or if we are going to use that chicken for lunch the next day. As you saw, I'm only doing lunches for three days. Um, and then the other two we kind of leave for later in the week to either have sandwiches or something. So I'll decide what I'm going to do Thursday night uh, as far as whether we're going to do the chicken or something else. And then Friday we are going out to dinner. So we only have two this week. So I'm going to do the salmon and the pork tenderloin. So for the salmon recipe, um, I am doing garlic parmesan crusted salmon. I've been doing the basil parmesan, which is so good. And I really don't want to give that up, but I need to switch it up this week and do something else. So um, I'm just using regular seasoned breadcrumbs. I usually use a mixture of half regular breadcrumbs and half panko, but I'm all out of panko, so I'm not going to be using those this week. I'm just going to use regular. So I need one quarter of a cup. This is actually going to be, for this dinner, it's going to be for four servings. Um, usually when we do salmon, we always make enough for four servings, and then sometimes we have um, extra salmon. For the two of us and the next thing we're going to need is a quarter of a cup of um, Parmesan cheese and then we're just gonna put that in there if it'll all fit it's gonna be close okay so we're just gonna mix that together and then what we're gonna do with this the night that um, the night we make it, tomorrow night actually. So then tomorrow night I'm gonna melt butter with some minced garlic, 
The recipe I get this from uh, that I'll link below actually calls for two teaspoons of garlic, minced garlic, but because we love garlic, I usually use more than that. And then what we'll do is um, mix that together and then we will mix it in with this topping and this will be the topping for the um, salmon. I'm not gonna do anything with the garlic and butter today. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in the bag. So this is gonna go in the bag and then the salmon is gonna go in there. And then I planned on having broccoli. If you saw my meal plan, I planned on broccoli, but I they didn't have any at the store. All they was all out of broccoli. So for this night, I'm actually just gonna do Brussels sprouts. So again, for visual purposes, I'm gonna put this in the bag, but I'm not gonna keep this in the bag in the fridge. So really, there was, really wasn't too much prep for this one. And then same with this, I'm just gonna have 90 seconds rice with it. So that's not gonna stay in the bag either, but I'm just, just for purposes of showing you what we're having, I'm putting it in there. So that is going to be the salmon. So that really is all there is for prep for salmon. Uh, for Tuesday night, we are doing garlic herb pork tenderloin with roasted potatoes, carrots, and gravy. And for this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the ends off the carrots. I'm not gonna cut them or peel them. I actually don't peel the carrots when I make these. I um, cut them into almost like fries and I just make sure to wash them really good with a vegetable brush and then I just roast them that way. I don't even peel them. Alright, so then we're just going to put the carrots in the bag. And I'm going to put about three quarters of a pound of potatoes in there. Um, a cook with me out there for this recipe. It's from one, I, one of my very first videos. Um, so I'll go ahead and put a card above for that. But again, it's one of my first videos. It wasn't the greatest. So um, the next thing I have is about 10 ounces of pork tenderloin. And we will split that. So this is going to be enough for two people. So I'm going to put that in there. And then the next thing I'm going to do is get my topping together for the pork tenderloin. Okay, so for the topping, we're going to need an ounce of, I'm using stone ground Dijon mustard. So we want an ounce of that. And then we want a tablespoon of olive oil. Then we want to put just some garlic in there, however much garlic you want. And finally, some chives or green onions. And then I'm gonna put the rest of the green onion and another one in the bag because I'm gonna be using more of those the night I make it. And then just go ahead and stir that up. You can actually use a little bit less olive oil if you want. And then we'll put that in the bag. And then the other thing I'm gonna do is just weigh out the gravy. Um, I usually uh, make my own gravy, but I am using this uh, home style pork gravy Heinz and this is actually one point for a quarter of a cup so I'm going to give us each a quarter of a cup which is 60 grams so I need 120 grams for dinners. The salmon one, again, I probably really didn't need to prep that one, um, but this one 
So everything's weighed out, measured. Now I will go ahead and cut up the potatoes and carrots the night I make it. So if you wanted to go the extra step further and cut those up now, you definitely could do that. I don't like to because it, it makes the potatoes get brown by the time Tuesday comes. So, uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and just get uh, snacks together. Um, for snacks, I usually have pudding, um, yogurt, which there's nothing to prep in those. So I'm going to weigh out my pretzels and cut up my fruit. Okay, so we are on the home, home stretch. We're on snacks. So for snacks, um, I have my pretzels already weighed out. I basically have 28 grams of the Snack Factory pretzel crisps in here. And I just throw in a Laughing Cow cheese. And then this package is four points. It's three for the pretzels, one for the cheese. I sometimes don't use this cheese. Sometimes I will use the queso dip from Aldi, which is one point for two tablespoons. So if I do that, then I'll just put the cheese back. But for prep purposes, I go ahead and put the cheese wedge in there. And then that way when I want to have these, I can just grab them and they're already weighed out because I am a bad one for just eating stuff out of the bag and then eating entirely too much. So those are done. And as I said, my um, cereal for this week, I usually do the same thing with my cereal. I put that, weigh it out in bags and put my milk in little containers, but I still have that at work from last week, so I don't have to prep that. So for um, fruit this week, I, we're gonna do cantaloupe and blackberries again. We really enjoyed that last week, so we're gonna stick with that. We try to stick to berries and melons for our fruit. But he prepares his separate because he takes it separate throughout the week. So just put that in there. And we are done. So I'm going to put everything out on the table and show you what we ended up with. Okay, so this is what we ended up with this week. So start down here. I just pulled my snack bin out of the fridge. So we have our Greek pudding. Um, these are the strawberry cheesecake kind. These are two points. Our sugar-free pudding are two points and then my pretzels with the laughing cow cheese and the cheese is one point pretzels are three so that's a four point snack if I don't use the cheese wedge then I'll use the queso dip and that is one point for two tablespoons and then we have our fruit bowls with cantaloupe and blackberries that we'll just eat throughout the week and then for breakfast um, we just did these for two mornings and then we'll do yogurt and fruit one morning, and I'll do my cereal uh, two mornings. So these are five-point breakfasts. It is a quarter of a cup of reduced-fat cottage cheese, some cantaloupe, and our breakfast burrito. Uh, breakfast burritos are four, and the cottage cheese is one. And then the Big Mac salads that we are super excited to try this week. Cannot wait to try those. Those ended up being five points. Uh, it was three without the cheese, and then I added the cheese for another two points. So five point lunch, and then I'm just we're gonna add our tomatoes to it the day we have it, and then the Big Mac sauce we'll add to it the day we have it. And then for dinners, like I said, I only had to prep two this week because we're doing a whole chicken in the crock pot one day, and probably leftovers one day, and then um, Friday night I don't usually prep for Friday night. So. Um, we have the air fryer garlic parmesan crusted salmon with wild, wild rice and like I said they didn't have broccoli so I'm doing Brussels sprouts instead. So that is going to be seven smart points per serving. 
And then uh, the pork tenderloin with roasted potatoes, carrots, and gravy. That is an 11 point dinner. It's 11 points per serving with the gravy. And um, that's why on the day that we have those, we are going to just do the two point uh, yogurt for breakfast that morning so that we don't have as many points. So that is it for this week. So I got a little visitor. Look, say hi. Logan, say hi. There's all that food. <laughs> say hi. There's Papa back there. <laughs> oh, it's dark because of the light. Here, turn this way. <gasps> Why are you so quiet? Logan. He takes a little bit. Alright guys, so that's it for meal prep for this week. We have another week done and another week planned out. Super excited for lunches. Cannot wait to try those Big Mac salads. So if you are still with me so far, I thank you so much for uh, watching this far. Please go ahead and give it uh, this video a thumbs up if you like this type of video. And um, if you're new to my channel, I hope that you will consider subscribing. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. And also make sure to click the notification bell so that way you're notified anytime that I upload new content. So I hope you guys have a great week. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you in my next video. I'm Christy, and I'm planning this holiday.